Hello and welcome to another Let's Code in RenPy tutorial. In this one I'm going to go over persistent variables and how you can make a variable work for you. Before I start, a huge shout out to those who support my work on all platforms. I really do appreciate the support that you guys give me. Right, let's get into this. So I've shown you how to create a variable and also how to store something in a variable like a name. And part of this variable here is this word persistent. What does it mean? Quite simply, a persistent variable is one that persists through different playthroughs of the game. To break that down further, when you click start or load a save, the Rempire engine will go through and load any variables that have a default or any that are denoted as persistent. When Rempire encounters a new persistent variable, it will store this in a separate file, aptly named persistent. So why do we want to use persistent variables? A lot of developers like to include image galleries or special unlocks in their games. This can be controlled via variables. Good developers will make them persistent, enabling you to access the image outside of the game. And before anyone accuses me of throwing shade, my first gallery was not based on persistent variables. We all have to learn sometimes. So how do we make a variable persistent? Well, let's create a new file, which we shall name persistence.rpy. So to make a persistent variable, all we need to do is add persistent and dot to the variable name. And there we go, we've created a persistent variable. Ensure you have a dot between persistent and the variable name. This helps Rempy recognize the code persistent as, well, code, and not the name of the variable. In fact, it's good practice to not use full stops in any of your variables. Personally, I use underscore, but you could always use capital letters to denote the different words. So let's move on to something a little more fun. Let's say you have a relationship system in your game and you wanted to display a message to the player when they gained or lost a relationship point. Rempi has a notification system built in which we can use. We've already got our relationship count variable in here, right there. So all we need to do is create a bit of code to utilize the notification system and increase or decrease the relationship count as required. So we'll use our persistent file. So we're going to say init python. I'm going to learn to spell one of these days. We want define change underscore stat. Uh, so stat and then amount. I will run through what this actually does once I've typed it. Amount is equal, actually no, is greater than zero. Menpy.notify relationship has increased. Else empire dot notify relationship has decreased. Put full stops in these. Stat plus equals and it's amount. Let's, uh, let's add some spaces so it's a little bit easier to read. So let's run through this. So we use this init here to tell Python to run this code during the initialization phase. Uh, here I've typed Python 
but again, like above, we can use a dollar sign as a short form. DEF is short for define. So we are defining the variable change stat and we're giving it two parameters or arguments, one being stat and one being the amount. We then add this if condition that says if amount, so if this is greater than zero, it will then run this message, which this is the Rempi notify system, and it will show your relationship has increased. If, however, it's a negative number, so minus one, minus two, it will run this and say your relationship has decreased. After the notification, the stat, which in this case will be rel underscore count, will be incremented by the amount denoted here. If the amount is a negative figure, even with the plus, it will still decrease or reduce, uh, deduct from the relationship count total. The return stats ends the code block and allows the game to continue. You may be asking, how does stat know to increase rel underscore count? This is where we add the code to the script in the game. And we're going to do that if we just save this. Now, what have I got? So I've got to jump into a choice menu. Let's change this and set up a little bit of uh, a little bit of game. Um, I'll just call this begin. What I'll do is I'll uh, I'll skip the recording ahead and create a little uh, scene. Okay, so very simple. Just created a label and added two menu choices, one that increases and decreases, and then she'll then report what the amount is, and the same again, just so we can show both examples. Now, because we're not calling, I'm just gonna save that, because we're not calling the variables, we need to actually add this again. So I'm gonna add it at the top here, and just to show you that they do the same thing. I'll deliberately leave that like that. So in it, Python rel count equals zero. This is the exact same as this. So you can see that both work. So let's add the code. So we want, whoops, we want rel store count equals change underscore stat count and let's change it by two on this see we're saying python so we're saying this variable well count which is this here equals and we're calling we need to make sure that it's case sensitive. We're calling change underscore stats. So we're calling this and we're giving it these two arguments or parameters. So low count is the stat and two is the amount. And so for this, we want low count equals change that and we'll go minus one and what we'll do we copy that let's save that and hopefully this should run Don't be a numpty like me. Check your indents. Let's go reload. There we go. 
So, hi, I'm Eileen. I've got increase. I like that. Yeah, anyway. She's super happy. So, a relationship is two. You can see the notification up there. And then, if we wanted to decrease it, she's not so happy. Relationship has decreased. And my relationship is one. So why do this and not add the rempire.notify to a simple stat increase in the script? Well, aside from the repetitiveness of adding that action every time you need it, the change underscore stat code can be used for any kind of stat. Uh, let's say you have some specific relationship points with multiple people. You just need to add them as a variable. So let's add, add them here. anything really and all we'd need to do is let's amend this and let's add another option in here increase We can take this, copy, paste, and all we need to do is rename this to Louise and this. And we'll add in So now if we go back to this, and if I roll back, do shift R, see so I'm Louise, increase relationship with Louise, he says yeah, Eileen's is at zero, but Louise is now at two. And you can use that for any number of characters, and it will just reuse this bit of code each time. So I think that will do it for this tutorial. Next time I plan to show you how to use variable code blocks to create clickable items on screen. Uh, that will also use a persistent variable to unlock an image in a gallery. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.